such a predominant grain source when it doesn't need to be, and very little variety in the wheat. I know there's actually some folks out there that are trying to bring back sort of some heritage um, versions of different wheat grains, camut and uh, I'll, uh, buckwheat, and uh, what are some of the other ones? Uh, farro and wheat berries. I actually make a kick-ass wheat berry salad if you want to get into that later. But of all this refined wheat that we're eating, to your point, I, I think, God, isn't that amazing that so many people are now coming up with gluten intolerance? What is going on? I think it's because we eat so much wheat, so much refined wheat, and it's really just one kind. I have heard, I don't know if you've had this experience, I've had Europeans come and say, you know, I ate a lot of bread in Europe, and I come here, and I, I'm like gluten intolerant, and then I go back to Europe, and I, I can have bread again. And I, I, th I don't know this, so I'm not a yeah. food scientist, but I think that's part of it. Yeah, my, 